one more movie to talk about on this week's show. In the last few years, we've seen a lot of tough, smart, inventive movies coming out of Israel. The latest is Ajami, one of the five films competing for the best foreign language film Oscar. It's a crime story told out of order with a half dozen plot lines converging around a few acts of violence. <laughs> The stories converge in sad and surprising ways, but the strength of this movie, which was shot on real locations with mostly non-professional actors, is in its vivid attention to the details of everyday life on some very mean streets. See it. Good pick. I say see it too. Nice movie, I, I think huh? I think aside from its honesty and uh, just a really gripping narrative, it, it, this is a film that deals with one of these very tricky, as you pointed out, very tricky narrative structures. Yeah. So many pictures you see like that, from the burning plane to Babel mm -hmm. to crash. I just resist because it feels like it's it's just too fancy for the subject. This it all works very well, well and it feels like life. It, it really feels does. like life because it's about the connections and relationships between these people that really exist. Mm -hmm. It reminded me a little bit of the of the HBO series The Wire in that mm -hmm. you know it's about cops and 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 drug dealers and criminals sort of but not you know cleanly good guys and right, bad guys right, right. it's about the world that these people inhabit and the and the ironies and ambiguities of their collisions with yeah. each other just a really rich sense of life yeah, and the texture movie. of it reminded me of the Italian film Gomorrah which is another yeah. crime yeah. very good I'm glad it got a nomination